Pareto chart. A Pareto chart, also called a Pareto distribution diagram, is a vertical bar graph in which values are plotted in decreasing order of relative frequency from left to right. Pareto charts are extremely useful for analyzing what problems need attention first because the taller bars on the chart which represent frequency clearly illustrate which variables have the greatest cumulative effect on a given system. The Pareto chart provides a graphic depiction of the Pareto principle, a theory maintaining that 80% of the output in a given situation or system is produced by 20% of the input. A Pareto chart is a good tool to use when the process you are investigating produces data that are broken down into categories and you can count the number of times each category occurs. A Pareto chart breaks a big problem into smaller pieces and identifies the biggest contributors. It helps us get the improvements with the resources available by showing where to focus efforts in order to maximize achievements. The Pareto principle states that a small number of causes accounts for a most of the problems. Focusing efforts on the vital few causes is usually a better use of valuable resources. Making problem solving decisions is in the only use of the Pareto principle since Pareto charts convey information in a way that enables you to see clearly the choices that should be made. They can be used to set priorities for many practical applications in your command. Let us take an example. In order to illustrate the operation mode of the Pareto diagram, we will use an example of errors during surgical setup. In Yashoda Hospital, the hospital team used Pareto analysis to identify the vital few factors that contributed to errors during surgical setup. The team identified eight types of surgical setup errors and collected data on the frequency of each type. When the team displayed this data in a Pareto diagram, they discovered that three types of errors accounted for 80% of all errors. Instead of working on all error types, the team focused its efforts on these three vital few error types. A flowchart is a picture of the separate steps of a process in a sequential order. Flowcharts use simple geometric symbols and arrows to define relationships. Following is the example showing flowchart for storing blood in a blood bank. Following is the example showing flowchart for PDCA. Let's understand the third phase of the PDCA model that is flowchart with the help of an example. Patient feedback can provide compelling opportunities for developing risk management and quality improvement strategies as well as improving customer satisfaction. So the hospital management took a step forward to standardize workflows for managing complaints and grievances. We have to create a streamlined patient complaint capture and resolution process to improve the capture of patient complaints from multiple parts of the organization and manage them in a centralized database. Ma'am, I have prepared the flowchart that will include receiving complaint Frontline resolutions of straightforward issues and investigation of complex complaints by senior management in a stepwise manner. We also need to have a data management system for tracking patient complaints and generating reports. We should implement best practices, changes which should include leadership engagement, increased capture of complaints, centralized data and reporting, improved average response times to patient grievances and complaints and improved service recovery. Ok ma'am. It's great to see that complaints captured increase from 50 to 300 per month. With improved workflows, responses to patients expressing concerns have met the requirement in less than 7 days. Yes.
फ्लो चार्टिंग हैज असिस्टेड द मैनेजमेंट इन अचीविंग द रिक्वायर्ड चेंज इन मोस्ट इफेक्टिव एंड एफिशियंट मैनर बेनिफिट ऑफ पी डी सी ए साइकिल डेली रूटीन मैनेजमेंट फॉर द इंडिविजुअल एंड ऑर द टीम प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग प्रोसेस प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट कंटिन्यूस डिवेलपमेंट वेंडर डिवेलपमेंट ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेज डिवेलपमेंट न्यू प्रोडक्ट डिवेलपमेंट प्रोसेस ट्रायल्स benefits of pdca cycle there are many benefits that can be secured using a pdca process the process in itself is quite simple but through repeating it there is a chance to ensure that processes are improved quite dramatically it can also bring benefits where there are unknowns often common at the start of a project so the pdca process will ensure that the unknowns are either proven or even discounted The PDCA process will ensure that whatever the identified goal or objective is, the repeated planning, doing, checking, and acting will drive forward improvement because there is no room for complacency while using this method. The constant process of evaluating, measuring performance, and then re-evaluating leads to substantial growth in improvements, sometimes by small steps. sometimes by huge leaps the advantages of pdca are it is simple that means it is easy to use it is effective that means the thinking way provides a framework for ongoing improvement it is comprehensive as it links all the necessary stages together in a simple process it is flexible as it is easily adapted to a multitude of circumstances it is engaging by its nature as it fosters and produces teamwork it is inexpensive as it is a team focused exercise so there are no additional cost another advantage of pdca thinking is the amount of learning that takes place about the process during each cycle because solutions thinking deploys fewer improvement cycles and focuses attention specifically on the problem at hand less learning takes place about the overall process the increased learning resulting from deploying pdca throughout the organization further adds to the overall pace of improvement cycles those who fail to recognize the true significance of pdca often require a good deal of coaching reflection and experience with the cycle to truly understand why it is different and how it can benefit the organization without a certain level of transformation toward pdca however the implementation of improvement methods like lean thinking or six sigma will be difficult if not impossible summary tools are generally a means of accomplishing change The seven quality tools were first emphasized by Ishikawa in the 1960s, who is one of the quality management gurus. Continuous improvement could not be realized without quality tools, which are presented through four group of activities of Deming's quality cycle or PDCA cycle. Tools and techniques which can be used to complete each stage of the PDCA cycle. Plan for changes to bring about improvement do changes on a small scale first to trial them act to get the greatest benefit from changes check to see if changes are working and to investigate selected processes pdca offers a data based framework based on the scientific method the pdca cycle is used to coordinate continuous improvement efforts pdca is a continuous an ongoing effort to achieve measurable improvements pdca is effective for exploring a range of possible new solutions to problems and trying them out and improving them in a controlled way pdca avoids the large scale wastage of resources that comes with full scale implementation of a poor solution once the basic problem solving or quality improvement process is understood the addition of quality tools can make the process proceed more quickly and systematically 
According to Ishikawa, 95% of quality related problems can be resolved with these basic tools. Cause and effect diagram. This is also referred as Ishikawa diagram or fishbone diagram. The diagram identifies many possible causes for an effect or problem. The common categories in a fishbone diagram are the M's, the P's, the S. Following is the example of Ishikawa diagram or fishbone diagram. Non-productive time in OT. Pareto chart is used to identify the vital few problems or causes of problems that have the greatest impact. This is also known as 80 by 20 rule. The Pareto chart is a bar chart named after Italian economist Wilfredo Pareto. The lengths of the bars represent frequency or cost or time or money and are arranged with longest bars on the left and the shortest to the right. In this way, the chart visually depicts which situations are more significant. Following is the example of Pareto chart showing causes for medication not delivered on time. A flowchart is a picture of the separate steps of a process in a sequential order. Flowcharts use simple geometric symbols and arrows to define relationships. Following is the example showing flowchart for storing blood in a blood bank. Following is the example showing flowchart for PDCA. Benefits of PDCA cycle Daily routine management for the individuals and or team Problem solving process Project management Continuous development Vendor development Human resource development New product development and process trials Keywords PDCA cycle the PDCA cycle is a systematic series of steps for gaining valuable learning and knowledge for the continual improvement of a product or process. Ishikawa Diagrams Ishikawa Diagrams also called fishbone diagrams are causal diagrams created by Koru Ishikawa that show the causes of a specific event. Peto Chart A Peto Chart also called a Peto distribution diagram, is a vertical bar graph in which values are plotted in decreasing order of relative frequency from left to right. Further readings